Hey, I'm Gary Marsh. This is Northwest Survivalist. Today we're going to talk about a really cool survival kit. Uh, let's get after it. All right, so I've been uh, really uh, looking forward to getting into this bag and seeing what all uh, what all comes with it. You can tell there's a uh, there's it looks like quite a bit of space right up here. It's got Molly latches on it, um, or mo uh, for Molly straps, right? So you could add something else to it. You could add this to your pack. Looks like it's got a pretty uh, pretty good little system here. These might be a little loose. You could probably hang them off of stuff. Um, yeah, let's dig into the inside. So this here has, so that's the bag, inside bag. You could actually use it for other things if you wanted to. That's a nice bag. I like this bag. I could use that with without this. All right, so you got a, a basically it's a like a standard, uh, Water bottle here, 32 ounce. You could probably do quite a bit with this. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is it's plastic, so you can't cook with it. I mean, you can, but you gotta be really, uh, really prepared to be able to cook with plastic. So um, let's try to pull some of this stuff out of here. You have a compressed towel. These are really cool, man. They can, they can really blow up pretty big. Uh, I like those. Let's see what else is in here. Looks like we got a whistle. Got some, let me just pull some of this stuff out here real quick. And then we'll uh, then we'll talk about it. It's not going to be easy pulling this stuff out of here. I can tell you that right now. It's an emergency blanket. It's going to be uh, quite difficult. I think I ripped the bag on that, but hey, you're not going to need the bag anyway. Wow. That was pretty difficult to uh, get out of there. That means this one's going to be equally. This is a whole poncho. Oh, that's not too bad. All right, so you got a water bottle. You have a uh, really cheap carabiner. I wouldn't use this for anything other than just hanging your uh, equipment from it. And then uh, Nalgene bottle is a pretty good bottle, though. Looks like it's uh, it'd be good for definitely storing. It's a good container. So you got a couple of different uh, compasses in this little kit. This is kind of cool. So you have a uh, you have a whistle here, right? Oh yeah. You also have a compass in it. So this is a uh, this is a pretty good multi tool. <whistles> Don't want to blow it too loud; it'd drive my dog nuts. But yeah, you got a mirror on the inside. That's this is a really cool tool. So you got one, two three, four, this is basically a four and one it looks like to me. So you got a container, you've got your compass, a mirror, and a whistle. You have a poncho, this is an emergency poncho, it's uh, hooded, it's 50 inch by 52 by 80 inch. So that's a pretty good size poncho, that's going to help you out in the rain. And uh, you can also use that as a uh, part of your five C's. It would work out well for a convenient cover. Right, and then this looks like uh, about 50 feet of cord. Without measuring it, I'm pretty close. I'm I'm pretty sure that's about as accurate as I can get. This here is a nice little space blanket, uh, emergency blanket. You can see there, um, it's going to keep you warm. That mixed with that, you put this on on the underside, and then you have this over the outer side to protect you from the rain and elements. 
I think you could uh, survive a night with that. Again, you got a compressed towel. Uh, you've got, looks like two band-aids with it. And then you have a sewing kit that has a bobby, it has one needle, some thread, a couple of uh, buttons, and a safety pin. All right, oh. Looks like there's a little miniature knife in here too. So you got another compass on this. You have a flashlight here. This is really cool. So you need to take this out and probably add a battery to it. No, there's a battery in it. There's a few batteries there. But you do need to take out the plastic insert to get this to work right. And there you go. You got a nice little flashlight there. This is a pretty nifty little tool. You just turn it off just by unscrewing it just slightly so it's still on but it's not you know it's not going to go anywhere that way. So that's a this is a really nice little uh, really nice little tool. Let's see how the how the button compass works. Yeah, this is a whole lot more accurate than that big one uh, of of uh, some of the other survival kits out there. Yeah, it's pretty close. So anyway, that's a really cool little tool there. Uh, the other, there's another thing here. This is a nice little knife. So you basically have your five C's here. You got your cover, cordage, uh, your Emergency blanket, you got a cutting tool. What am I missing? You got your container. Wow, I'm drawing a blank here. Um, anywho, I, it'll come to me in a second. So this is this looks like it has a pair of scissors with it. Yeah, it's got a little set of scissors on one side and then the other side has what's a nifty little little piece of uh, equipment here it's got a uh, file slash you could probably use this to uh, strike a fire you have your knife and then you have a pair of scissors it's a cool little uh, setup here Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, definitely, uh, this is a pretty, pretty cool tool, um, or a pretty cool little setup here. I wouldn't, I, I would take it all out of this, right? Because for one, you have to definitely uh, take the little plastic piece out. You can see it right here. I bent the crap out of it, but you can see there's a little plastic insert there. You got to get that out before the light will actually work. So be sure you uh, you do that, and then you can just hang this off the side here. But yeah, all this stuff can go. You can fill your water bottle. Wham. Done. And then what I would do is I would take the space blanket and just open it up. I would add bandages in there and my sewing kit. And then the knife, the towel, uh, the compressed towel, and then I would seal this one up. And then you could put all this stuff right up front. Zip it up. You got a carabiner on both sides even. Look at that. Well, there you go. That's a pretty nice little kit. Uh, comes comes uh, fully contained. And uh, you could just throw this in a uh, car and you, you could definitely have yourself a nice little setup uh, for an EDC, you know, just an everyday carry kind of deal.
you could throw this in the back yeah. in a backpack or whatever pretty cool all right with that i'm gary marsh this is northwest survivalist get out there and enjoy the outdoors